Hi there everybody, it's Verity here from Inkabutterfly.com. Thank you very much for joining me today for a card making tutorial and uh, this week I'm going to be featuring uh, mostly um, new products that have been released in the uh, July to December uh, mini catalogue. So the release of this catalogue was um, put back slightly um, and was um, launched actually in uh, August. So this has um, started from the 3rd of August along with it so has celebration um, so there's um, a lot of Christmas stuff in here a bit of Halloween and and things like that so um, if you would like a physical copy of the catalogue and you haven't shopped with me in the last um, few months then uh, please do drop me a line uh, there's some Halloween stuff some autumn stuff as well Christmas, baubles, sentiments, look candy canes, got that cute robin, some deer and trees and things. So there's loads and loads of different stuff in here um, for those um, sort of more winter occasions. And like I say, we have celebration going on as well, which um, is on for two months. So that that's from the 3rd of August to the 30th of September. And um, during celebration, you can earn free products from this um, little mini catalogue. Some items will be available with a £45 spend. So this is the uh, Bedazzling Designer Series paper, which is totally and utterly stunning. Just have that to hand here. Look at that, look at that stuff. Isn't that amazing? Um, uh, and then there are other items, so some lovely penguin paper there that coordinates with some of the um, images in the uh, mini. Some lovely watercolour, some more designer series paper that coordinates with the hand penned. Some Christmas paper, some adorable little sheep there. Um, summer shadows dies I've used um, in a video recently and they also coordinate with the stamp set in the annual catalogue textures and frames so the dies um, here that's a £90 order so you have to spend £90 uh, on products and you can earn this for free and then we've got our dahlia stamp set so there's lots and lots of choice and if you were wanting to join or um, host a party then uh, you can get this particular stamp set for free um, and you get extra stamping rewards too. Uh, if you join during celebration you can select um, a free uh, bundle from the uh, mini catalogue as well. Okay so there's uh, what is there about 12 different um, bundles that you can choose from completely free when you join um, by purchasing the starter kit for £99 between the 3rd of August and the 30th of September okay so even if you just want to join just to take advantage of the freebies uh, that's perfectly fine um, and then after that if you if you don't want to continue then you you, you don't have to so um, if you want any more information, just contact me through social media and I'll, um, I'll be able to help you out with that. Um, so today I'm featuring this stamp set um, and the coordinating dies. So we've got Beauty of Tomorrow, really, really nice, um, sort of autumnal feel, I think, to this. And um, this sentiment really says it all. The changing of leaves reminds us that new wonders are just around the corner. The dies that go with it coordinate with um, those main images. So we've got the bird and the two uh, stems there. And we've got some individual little oak leaves there. And then we've got this stunning large die, um, which I can't wait to um, to use. Some other additional leaves there too. Beautiful, beautiful bundle. Is that one of the ones in the... Um Oh, there he is. Just wondering if this is one of the ones in the... Uh... Yes, Beauty of Tomorrow. That is one of the bundles that you can get for free when you join. Okay. So there you go. Um, this is the card that we're going to um, replicate or 
base the uh, project on, okay, um, with these wonderful birds using the, that foliage and that gorgeous sentiment, okay. So the colours I've used on this are cinnamon cider, um, early espresso for all the text. I actually used Sahara sand for this and I'm going to switch that out for crumb cake. I've used crumb cake and early espresso on the layers. Okay, so we're going to change it slightly. I'm going to switch in a cinnamon cider card base with a, an early espresso layer with my white layer. Okay, so the early espresso is four by five and three quarters and the white layer is just one eighth of an inch smaller. So three and seven eighths by uh, five and five eighths. Okay, we can layer those together straight away because we are not doing any stamping on toe that base layer just just there is a backdrop so I'm just going to put on some lines of tape onto there <clears throat> could use the uh, vanilla actually as well if you wanted to really um, continue that sort of vintage style okay and I've just thought what we could do is use vanilla for the um, for the sentiment panel. I'll see if I can find a piece of vanilla that we can use. So I have cut stuff to use um, basic white, but let's let's just see how that would look by grabbing some vanilla as well. Might have a scrap of it handy, so we'll just check that in a moment. Make sure that top fold is nice and scored. And then your card will stand up even if it's on a tent if it's a tent fold on a slippery surface so that's our um card base completed I do have some basic white there for the other little bits and pieces that we're going to die cut let me see if i can find some very vanilla oh there we are there's some very vanilla in fact let's use that piece okay so um, inks then, like I said, crumb cake, cinnamon cider and early espresso. So we'll go with the early espresso first, get that sentiment stamped. It fits quite nicely onto a D block. If you are just starting out, a D block and an H block would be my recommendations. They seem to fit most things. So this is D, H is this one, which is good for sentiments. Okay, so give them that just some nice firm pressure. Um, the rubber on stamping up stamps is um, so cleanly and deeply etched you, you don't fail to get a good image if, you, um, if your technique is um, accurate. So that's for die cutting with one of the stitched so sweetly rectangles this is the one that is it's not the largest one it's the next one down so that's going to be die cut with that in a moment on our whisper white oh sorry basic white I still haven't got used to calling it um basic white I'm gonna stamp the birds now, I did three before don't know whether I want three this time but we're gonna stamp them out get them die cut and then we can decide whether we want them or not just moving those around so it'll fit onto that piece of cardstock and crumb cake ink for the foliage pieces and i'm actually going to do only put one on the sample card i think i might do a couple this time Okay, so there's a bit of die cutting to do, so I hope you forgive that. But what I might do is just zap that forward for you on the um, on the video. So we need this one, and we need this one from the die set that coordinates with that. It's called Beautiful Leaves, and we just want to use some low tack tape to position those into place very easy 
tend to line up the stems and then just make sure the top portion looks like it's lined up. Take that down. And then again, if you line up the beak and the, the tip of the tail, the rest should sort itself out. Okay, so what we'll do is we will um, do that die cut in on a bit of a fast forward. So that you're not listening to that clunking and cranking each time, but that's what we're going to do, all right? So I'll drop back in a moment. Okay, all our die cuttings done, and we can start um, putting together our composition. Really, okay. So uh, we're going to need a whole ton of dimensionals. So we'll bring those in um, to use. So this panel is going to be raised up. I'm not applying any ink to this one. I wanted to keep this one a little bit more simple. Um, but um, what I did with this one was I kept the dye over the top and then rubbed, uh, rubbed over with a blending brush and some ink and that gives you the colour on the panel. Um, but as we've switched out into the uh, vanilla, um, I'm just going to um, see how that goes with that. And a real good tip is to uh, what I call dry build your, your car before you commit to where everything's going to go. Um, and it, tell, it sort of allows you to plan where adhesive's going to go and things like that. So um, I was thinking of pushing this over a little bit so that I could have these um, stems come down the card a little bit more. Okay. And then the birds coming in, definitely up there anyway. I was saying maybe I don't need the third one, you see. And maybe sort of like that. So we've got some sort of balance that way. So I don't think we need the additional bird. But do you see what I mean about how we can now see that we need dimensional sort of on on these portions of um, our foliage and we can get away with some dimensional sort of on the bottom wing of this one and the top wing of this one and it will make everything um, balance out. I think we'll use minis on the birds. So if we put one on the top wing on this one that's for there. One on the bottom wing of this one. Okay. And then we'll put one onto these portions of our little foliage bits. So one there. One there. And maybe we'll put a mini. one um, sort of towards the base of these okay and then hopefully they'll fit on okay too okay so I hope you followed that kind of thing so say so just working out where things are going to go um, beforehand just save some grief and um, I mean I can't do it because you're, you're up there with the phone um, but if you took a picture of it with your phone you can then position things back where you intended them to be 
So another tip for making sure things get positioned right is to add just a bit of um, your multi-purpose glue onto the back of those dimensionals which just gives you that extra time just to make sure that things are where you want them to be. Okay, so our little bird's going to come in along the top there. Sweeping in across there. You could secure the, the bottom bit with a bit of um, tape or uh, wet glue if you wanted to. And then I think I'm going to put this one in where I want it at the bottom. As close into those words as I dare, but um, tucked in. against the edge of the, that sentiment panel. Then we took this one in as well. Again, as close as we can. Cool. And then this guy, Ooh, that dimensional back doesn't want to come off. There we go. So what I mean is, um, so what I could do is put a little bit of tape on that wing there and that will help um, and that will secure it. That way too, and it's just sort of butting up against there. Okay, so same products and different, um, sort of slightly different layout, just to um, show you another way of using those. Um, elements, all the same stuff, it's just different coloured cards, dark and things, quite like the vanilla panel uh, and then that makes that inking unnecessary if you don't have blending brushes and stuff so you know mix and match this okay so if, if there's bits of this one you like but you prefer the colourway on that one then you know you can you can mix and match it all right Um so like I say you know this is about me sharing some ideas with you and um, hoping that from what I give you as an idea, you can then take off and do your own thing, okay? So I'm not adding any other embellishments even as well, but there's loads of scope to fancy these up as much as you, you wish, okay? So if you've enjoyed that, and I hope it's been helpful, um, please do stop by um, the description bar where all the links to all the products are going to be. Uh, those links take you directly to the um, online um, store, so you can put stuff straight into your basket and um, shop with me if you don't already have a demonstrator. I would love to have you on board. And don't forget, um, we do have the celebration um, promotion on as well. So you're going to earn free product um, with your purchases um, up right up until the end of September. So do have a think on that. And that doesn't have to be, that can be anything from the annual catalogue or the mini catalogue. So... Um, if Christmas ain't your thing, you can, um, you can order stuff from the annual catalogue too and um, earn your rewards that way. Thanks ever so much everybody. I really hope you have a good week. Um, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.